ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू डिफाइन ए डिराइव क्लास इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अबाउट इनहेरिटेंस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ओके एंड लेट्स सी हाउ टू डिफाइन ए डिराइव क्लास फर्स्ट डिराइव क्लास इट इज ए क्लास इट्स ऑल्सो ए क्लास बट वॉट इट विल कंटेन इट इट मे कंटेन सम इट मे कंटेन सम डाटा मेम्बर्स और मेम्बर फंक्शंस ऑफ बेस क्लास एंड ऑल्सो इट इट कैन हैव इट्स ओन मेम्बर्स डाटा मेम्बर्स और मेम्बर फंक्शंस ओके लेट सी द सिंटैक्स हियर इज द सिंटैक्स to define a derived class first we have to write the class keyword its then derived class name i will give an example at a uh, derived class name then you have to write visibility mode okay and this visibility mode is optional it's not mandatory okay this is optional then you have to write base class name and la then inside that body you can write its data members or member functions okay these are the data members or member functions of your derived class okay and now let's see uh, what do you mean by visibility mode in the previously you can know there are three types of visibility mode one is public protected and private okay you can use here public and private and by default if you, it, as this is optional then you you may write or you may not write but your default visibility mode will be private okay so let's see an example so this is an example of defining a derived class here is your abc abc is your derived class and xyz is your base class okay and then then you can write here private here is the public as a specifier and if you if if you will not write any visibility mode you are not specifying any visibility mode then by default by default it will be private okay and then let's see uh, if we will write private then how it will affect um, the data members of the derived class or how the derived class is going to assess the data members or member functions of this base class okay so if the base class is privately inherited by a derived class or let's we are using a access specifier as private then the public members of the base class becomes private members of the derived class okay here let x y z and a b c and if this a b c is privately access specifier using private access specifier then all the public data members of x y z become private to a b c and uh, uh, the public members of the base class can only be accessed by the member functions of the derived class okay that means this member functions or data members will become private to this so these private member functions or data members can be accessed only by the data member sorry the member functions of this 
ए बी सी इट कैन नॉट बी एसिस्ट बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट आज इट बिकम्स प्राइवेट फॉर बेस क्लास इट इज पब्लिक बट वेन यू आर यूजिंग ए आस ए स्पेसिफायर प्राइवेट और विजिबिलिटी मोर प्राइवेट लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस ओके फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल All the public data members or member functions of X, Y, Z becomes private for A, B, C as A, B, C is your derived class. So now let's uh, here is a function function one and uh, let's an integer int a here the both are public here that will be function one int a sorry. int a and here these two will be become a private data member or member functions for this abc class and and this data member can be accessed only by using the member function function 1 or or there may be some other functions let here we'll access public let function 2 okay then int a can only be accessed by this function 2 not by using the object of this abc okay and okay now we will see if the visibility mode is public okay then if the visibility mode is public then all the public members of the base class become public members of the derived class and they can be accessible to the objects of the derived class okay but the private members are not inherited to the uh, derived class okay so if this visibility mode then all the public members become public for the derived class okay so all the public data members or member functions of base class will become a public data members or member functions for your derived class and in both the cases if it is pra public or private we are seeing that this public data members become private or the public data members become public but the private data members cannot be inherited if in the both the cases private data members cannot be inherited okay by the base class or in the other word you can say that the private members of a base class will never become the members of its derived class okay so this is all about how to define a derived class by using different visibility modes okay we will see later uh, in different inheritance examples okay, as a single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance we will use this concept okay and another another thing you have to remember that if we are right if we are not writing any type of visibility mode like public or private then it will become private automatically it will take the visibility mode as private okay so if you want to define a derived class as public then you have to write a public as a specifier okay thank you we will see the examples of different inheritances in the next video